Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Gadigal people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello, Squiz Kids listeners, and welcome to another Kids vs. Adults weekly news quiz. Your chance to see who's had their listening ears on and being paying the most attention to the week that just was. I'm Bryce Corbett. All week in the Squiz Kids Today podcast, we've been bringing you the big news stories of the day, run through our kid-friendly filter to make sure you know all you need to know about the world around you. Now it's time to test how much of the week's news you've retained. So here's how it works. Five questions for kids about the week in news, then five questions for adults. Whoever answers the most correct questions wins. Simples. You ready? Let's do this. All right, kids, here are your five questions. Question number one. In the podcast this week, we heard about how the city of Paris was in danger of being overrun by what rodent, thanks to a strike by garbage collectors there. Yes, of course, I'm talking about rats. Question number two. What's the name of the Disney animated movie featuring a French rat called Remy, who is a really excellent chef? Yes, of course, I'm talking about Ratatouille. Great film if you haven't seen it. Question number three. Speaking of movies, the world got a little thrill this week at the Oscars when a trailer of what upcoming kids movie was released? And, I'll give you a hint, it features a Disney princess who spends a lot of time in the water. Yeah, of course, it's The Little Mermaid. Question number four. The AFL season kicked off this week with a game at the MCG. What does MCG stand for? Yes, of course, it stands for Melbourne Cricket Ground. Question number five. There was a lot of news this week about a trip that our Prime Minister Anthony Albanese made to San Diego in the United States to announce Australia would be purchasing what very expensive pieces of military equipment? Yes, that's right, he announced he was purchasing submarines. How did you go, kids? How many did you get right out of five? Do you reckon that's enough to beat the adults? Yeah, I reckon so too. All right, adults, now it's your turn. Fire up the grey matter. Here we go. Question number one. Prime Minister Albanese made his submarine announcement alongside US President Joe Biden and which other world leader? Yes, of course, it was British PM Rishi Sunak. Question number two. What's the acronym for the security pact involving our three nations under which the subs deal was forged? Yes, of course, it's called AUKUS. Question number three. Name the two teams that played in the AFL season opener at the MCG on Thursday night. Yep, well done if you said Richmond and Carlton. Question number four. Which movie won the Academy Award for Best Picture at this week's Oscars? Yeah, well done if you said everything, everywhere, all at once. Question number five. What's the name of the New South Wales opposition leader hoping to become the Premier when the state goes to the polls next Saturday? Yeah, that's right. His name is Chris Minns. All right, adults, how did you go? How many did you get right? Did you beat the kids? Who won bragging rights this week? Remember, if you've missed any of these cool news stories throughout the week and you want to refresh your memory, all of this week's Squiz Kids episodes are available for a re-listen wherever you get your podcasts. Well, that's all we have time for. I hope you're enjoying these quizzes. Don't forget there'll be a new one dropping first thing every Saturday morning. And the best bit, they're absolutely free. Just as our other excellent content is now available for free too. We're talking Squiz Kids Shortcuts, a 10 minute deep dive on a range of cool topics out every Monday. 
Squiz the World, in which Amanda takes kids on an audio excursion to a different country each week, which is out every Wednesday. And for all the teachers out there, there's the Classroom Companion, our teacher-produced daily classroom activity sheets, curriculum aligned and tied to news stories in the daily podcast. Genius. Check it all out at squizkids.com.au or simply subscribe to Squiz Kids in your favourite podcasting app and all the audio content will magically appear automatically. For now though, this is Bryce Corbett signing off and reminding you all to get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out.